What's going on, everybody? Sorry, program was like stalling on me a few seconds. I didn't know if it was recording or not. But today, this was brought to my attention uh, by uh, someone that I've known for a while. And they pointed out to where there was a eBay seller who sold a fake slab, and it was really easy to pick apart. With that being said, let me go into the story here. So it's a Serena Williams PSA 10. And we'll talk about when I get to the pictures and everything. But he did send an email and did report it to eBay. Now, these are already sold. This one here just sold today, and the other one sold back in May. Now, the first one that was sent to me, uh, the seller said, oh, they didn't know any better. They bought it off of somebody off of Facebook cheap. They should have known better. Okay. Well, two or three weeks earlier, I'll show you it. He sold another one that was completely wrong and fake, too. This is where it comes into play to always check your serial numbers and everything to make sure that label is correct because this was just easy to pick out because they had the lighthouse kind of symbols during this time frame. But let me go in here. We're going to pull this up. And I just want to show everybody how you could do this as well, too. And it'll save some headaches out there in the long road. So... Oh, there we go. So this is it here. This is the seller right there. Um, Serena Williams, PSA 10, sold for $245. Date was 12 today. Now check this out. See that label there? No lighthouse, right? So what you do is you get this uh, serial number here. You go on PSA's website, and it's real easy to find. You go down here, certification, verification. Put the number it pops up like this. This is what that certification should have the Fugitive Ink technology onto it. It does not. Here comes the funny part of it all. You keep going down, Gem Mint 10, right? Oh, look, one sold May 17th. That's the uh, person that sold it. There's the lot number. So you can click on the lot number. Pulls this up. Right there you go. Look at that lighthouse symbol. We can even go view the listing. Pull us up another page here. See the original. Check that out right there. There's the original. Somebody took this offline. Now, if they bought this off of Facebook on whatever day it was, this was sold on May 16th. Now, it's showing 17th on PSA's website. It might have been when it was paid for and everything. But you're talking. Was that 21 days roughly? Somewhere around there? Because you got to figure out a day in there and stuff. And that person put it up. And when you look. Oh, it doesn't show when it started. But it was by bids. Let's see if we can find out on this. We're going to go a little bit of depth onto this. First bid started for June. So you're talking within two weeks, somebody bought that card, had it in their hands. Then you bought it from on Facebook. They hurried up and shipped it quick to you, and you put it on here. That does not sound right to me at all. I mean, that's really cutting timelines quick. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm off or whatever. I'm not saying the guy did or nothing like that, but it does not make a whole lot of sense when you look at those numbers there. So, oh, this was the listing my bad hit the wrong one so there's the card there so we sat there and talked about this back and forth in email and we noticed that there was another card that was sold by the same seller you know first you know maybe he was fooled by it till we start digging into it and stuff like that boom check this out tom brady psa 10 look at the serial number still high number right that should be like the older lighthouse version whatever they call it Sold date, May 25th. Go here. Go. go in, do the same thing, PSA certification. It's supposed to have this label right here. The shiny looking uh, older model of it all, right? Sold twice. Back in 2018, once in 2020. We click on this. Pulls this up. Look at that. Same exact label right there, right? Oh, we can't view this auction because it was so long ago onto it. But 
This sold April 2020, it says. We just don't know the exact day. I don't think we flip back to April 8th. I mean, what not that kind of coincidence that this card here ended May 25th? Same type of front here, right? Look at that. Almost the same exact there when you look at the fonts and everything onto it. Go back. Well, maybe it's a little bit different just because the way they have a picture. But it comes pretty close onto it. I don't know if they really bought these off of eBay or, or whatever, but the dates don't match up pretty much to me with the story and timeline. So be very careful out there. There's no other ones that they're selling. We already looked through it all. Show you guys. That's everything else they have to sell. So nothing else is on there for sale, but it just seems really fishy that the dates and stuff onto it do not line up at all. Again, I mean, it's easy to do this stuff to make sure you double check yourself. All you got to do is take that certain number, put it on PSA's website. It'll tell you what type of label it's supposed to have and if there's any been transaction onto it. And then you can look it up. And then if, it, if it'll let you go to the auction, you click even more, but you can tell, totally different. Totally different onto it. So this was just something somebody brought up to me today. I wanted to share it, get it out to everybody. Uh, it's a process of how we verify that that's a real card into there. Mine is probably looking at, you know, I think it was the other picture here. You know, I mean, just look at that slab. Don't have those dots that we normally see on to it. And this is why the laser engraving is very big that I've been talking about. Stuff needs to start being lasered out oh, wrong. Thing. This was the original one sold. See down there? PSA right down over here in the right hand corner is PSA onto it. Sketched in. Not on that one. Then if you go here, kind of hard to tell because they put that up over it. I don't know if they were still laser and denting back at, at this old of time, but I'm pretty sure they might have. I'd have to go back and look at my PSA slab history tree and stuff like that. But tons of different things to give it away. If you're ever unsure, you know, you can always ask people and stuff like that. They're on to it. Always best to be certain before you buy this stuff because then you get hung with paying $102 for a fake there about the 245.50 fake there guess what it sold for originally 405 for the real one I mean we have a little bit of shift in the market got it but I mean it's just completely bad all around I mean here's the back of what the slab is supposed to look like there's their back can't see the back on this one so i can't really help my there on the brady but this was brought up to me i wanted to get it out there but take a look at since we've been talking trim cards and fake autographs fake slabs for a while just another person out there you know this person here is selling fake stuff and their response is well i bought them off somebody from facebook it's kind of hard because if they say they bought these both from the same person just imagine getting, like I said, this one here sold May 16th. It was paid for according to here on the 17th. So from the 17th, that had to ship out. And then you had to relist it by whatever it was, like June 4th or whatever, 2nd. Could be a possibility. But when you start looking at dates onto the other one, this one sold April 8th. You know, things just don't line up unless they had multiple transactions first. Normally when I do stuff like this, I buy them in bulk, but, uh, you know, it's good stuff that everybody's out there catching this. This here needs to be brought up to more people, so here we are with a video on it. Again, everybody, thank you for the support to the channel. I appreciate you guys finding this stuff, bringing it to me. I'll push videos out all the time, long as I feel 100% comfortable that the information there does show that there's something wrong with it. Um... If you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We're pushing up. We're getting to 4K. 4K. 
We gotta get 5k by the end of the year, but we're going 4k, so I do some giveaways here. Alright, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. You gotta look out for some more videos. Talk to y'all later.